Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose G is a group and A and B are elements of G. Then the inverse of AB is equal to B inverse times A inverse. Okay, now let's first remind ourselves some properties which come from the definition of a group. We have three properties. The first property is associativity. which says, for every three elements A, B, and C in G, this equality is true. The second property comes from the definition of the identity, which says, for all elements A and G, A, B is equal to A, which is equal to E, A. And the third property comes from the definition of the inverse of an element. The inverse of the element a is denoted a to the power of negative 1, and we have for all elements a and g, a times a inverse is equal to e, which is equal to a inverse a. Okay, now in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. I'm calling this preliminary result lemma star, and it says suppose g is a group with identity element e and suppose a and b are elements of g. If a, b is equal to e, then b is equal to a inverse. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. So in proving this theorem, we are given a group g and we're given a and b are two elements of g. Let's also just suppose that e is the identity of this group g. The whole goal is to prove that this equality is true. And what we're going to do is we're going to perform AB times B inverse A inverse. We're going to show that if we multiply these two guys together, it results in E. If we can show that, then we can use this fact to conclude that this guy is equal to the inverse of this guy. So to start out, let's use a show statistic. We can move these parentheses around B and b inverse a inverse. And then, using associativity again, we can move the inner parentheses around b times b inverse. And then we know by definition of the inverse of an element, b times b inverse is equal to e. And then we know by definition of the identity element, e times a inverse is equal to a inverse. But then we know by definition of the inverse of an element, a times a inverse is equal to e. So we've shown that if we multiply this guy times this guy, we get E. Now let's apply lemma star. If we take A to be AB and B to be B inverse A inverse, well, we do see that A times B is equal to E. Therefore, this guy is equal to the inverse of this guy. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.